What's good y'all man, it's your boy Cozy Joe and today we're gonna be reacting to RDC World, so Burb Olympics. But without further ado, y'all, hope y'all like and subscribe and enjoy the show. And welcome to our first annual Suburb Olympics. Here are some of our contestants ready to get this one started. We are excited to be here and see who will be able to achieve a gold medal in this Olympics. Starting off with N-word restraint, we have Leela Menigo from the Canadian side. This nigga said starting off with N-word restraints, bro. What the world, bro? Suburbs, one of the top suburbans looking to get the gold today. I'm looking forward to how he handles this one. May I help you? Um, yeah, I'm just looking for my, uh, you know, my box, but I think that is mine right here. Mm -hmm. They delivered to the wrong address. Take it up with USPS. Get off my property. Mm -mm. No, nah, I'm saying that that's literally my box. To say my yeah, name and right. you're trespassing. Get off my property. Take it up with USPS like I said. Bro, it's literally not that serious. Let me just get the box, bro. No. Man. Bro. Nigga, get the, the box. Ooh, oh, and I'm not sure about that There's one. There's just no talking to you. Mm. To what? It's no talking to what? And here it is, the big moment. Urban people. Oh, all right, okay. Man, I'm about to go. Hey! No, no, watch out, watch out, watch out, bro. And there it is, the famous N-word. He's definitely not going to be taking home the gold with that one. He's going to have to rethink his strategy next time. Canada is definitely not happy with this. Canada? One, considering they were considered a favorite in this round. Next bro, time. do Canadians say N-words, bro? Wait, I didn't know that. Yeah, Canadians were like that. I ain't know Canadians yep, were like Jesse that. Johnson from USA suburbs. Now we know that the USA suburbs oh, are some definitely. of the most racist suburbs across the world. Will he be able to take home the gold in inward restraint? Mm, he no, does he's not, not look like a strong candidate. No, he's not, bro. He, no, he, no, you get your goddamn ass out of here. I knew it. I knew it. Not even five I knew it. seconds. The Americans are ruthless as usual. Racism is running amok out there. They definitely are going to have to find a better way to hold that racism in. It is getting blatant right off the back desmond johnson is eliminated but i can't say we expected much from him and now we have mark phillips from the sweden suburbs not too many people know a lot about oh. the swedish suburbs they are a sleeper but we're gonna find out today bro, how good they are nah. running from racism nah i heard that them niggas like racist too bro oh what's up mm -hmm. uh it seems like the mailman uh, mm -hmm. brought my package on accident you okay, know I live okay. next door. well you're trespassing and i don't know if you know but that is a federal crime i just want you to know that i understand that and i apologize mm -hmm. i'm just gonna get my package mm -hmm. and i'm gonna be gone bro. um no i'll return that to sender and you can get it from usps uh next time so why, just why would i let you return get off of my right property here. right now i'm, not, I'm telling you really nice no you are gonna do all that really nice. i'm gonna let you know right demetrius listen you my name ain't fucking demetrius what are you talking about he's looking like he can fold right here the silence, bro. I just want to let you know. I want to let so you know. Call the cops? No, they're already called, buddy. I was just going to call them again. No, a twist. He sticks the landing. I call before I open the door. But uh, I just want to let you know, I am the neighborhood watch captain because I don't think you know who I am. Man, you want some bullshit, bro. I'm going to go. Bro. Oh, okay. Okay. No, just go ahead. Carry on. I will. Nigga. What are you about? Uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be the point right here. And okay. Amazing. Truly a stellar performance from Mark Phillips. Nothing less Black expected from the Black Swedish Black people. We don't hear too much about racism stellar. in that country. And they are proving it Thank here you. today. Mark Phillips has our first gold in the Suburb Olympics. Let's get to the next round. Oh, and bro, this silence was crazy. Dressing. And we love it. They are giving it their all right off the back, starting with Lila Menigo with the fit, looking racist as ever. The glasses are Bro, I see other niggas dressed like that. On his hat, and he turns around. The Blue Lives Matter flag really That's wild. printed on the back. That's wild. Lila Menigo is definitely doing his job here in the suburbs of Canada. He is definitely a racist. And that's going to be hard to follow, but we had Benjamin Skinner. And Ooh. a blazing performance to That start. nigga definitely you know, racist. Across the shoulders on the shirt. I don't know if we've seen this before, ladies and gentlemen. Nah, he's I ain't seen that in a minute. Man. He knows what he's doing. Wait, the glasses. This man is racist. This man is racist. He's definitely in the lead at the moment. All we have left is Desmond Johnson. I'm not sure how he's gonna follow that performance. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin Skinner has done something that many people cannot do. Nah, that's Desmond real, bro. Comes out, he looks pretty basic. I'm not too sure why he would put on this fit. This makes his suburbs look not racist, and that's not yeah. a good look at I all. Yeah, I seen, I seen, nah. And we see, he is in fact. 
pack of races united with i've seen other niggas crowd. dress like that, that bro Desmond Johnson. that ain't always that ain't nothing twist, always something to keep the crowd in awe but i'm going to have to give it to ben let's go in slow motion so right off the back we see ben with the hat and you see that and you already know he could be racist but you're not completely sure your eyes scroll down just a little bit and you see he has a cut off shirt on and you know he probably has a racist style is helping him put these clothes together and that is what you need ladies and gentlemen to bring home the gold benjamin skinner has done it he has brought home the first gold in racist dressing man what the fuck is up nigga you know what i'm on and now in the suburb olympics we have men's acting like they're from the hood with mark phillips he has been performing pretty well throughout these olympics let's see what he has yeah nigga what's up nigga what's up then hold on man what's up what's nigga, nigga swing bro what's up, swing first nigga what's up man this nigga too little for me get him little mark and this is where he has to truly show us an Olympic performance. Uh, he has been put on the spot. Oh, uh, shit. That nobody expected. Oh, uh, that nigga's scared, bro. Look, look, look. look. Uh -oh. Nigga, what's up then? What's up? Yeah. Uh huh. What's up? Yeah, okay. What's up? Okay, slap me there. Slap me. Okay. Slap me, okay. slap me okay. bitch. Yeah, you got some yeah. Hard. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought, yeah, nigga. Okay. That's what I thought, okay. nigga. He's really selling this performance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Okay, then, nigga. Yeah. Shit, you know yeah. what? Don't get it. What's up? What? What's up? What's up? Don't get greedy. He has to close out. Right, bro, he gotta pull up the pants. He gotta pull up. He gotta pull up the shorts, bro. And he does. Nah, he failed. He ain't win that. He, you always gotta pull up the shorts or the pants, bro. Me and my homeboys, we were just like riding bikes, just seeing the neighborhood and shit, bro. Next thing you know, this damn Mexican, no offense, this Mexican, and then his homeboy, he was like a oh, white dude, fat niggas, and this big ass black truck. Talking about something. We saw y'all steal them bikes. All three of y'all bikes. I seen those bikes before. Y'all y'all stole those bikes. Mind you, that was my damn bike. You know what I'm saying? That the bike I was riding was my own bike. Because, you know, I'm from South Carolina. And I'm a Carolina Panthers fan, so I had a Carolina Panther colors. They talking about some, yeah, yeah, my little nephew, my little nephew had that bike. We we recorded y'all. Y'all stole those bikes. Nigga, this is my bike. I literally got this bike from my granddad. What you? What are you talking about? <laughs> and then my other homeboy, he had his own bike from his little brother. This shit was a red bike. And my other homeboy, he just he just got his that bike from his mom. This is a black bike. These niggas was just like, yo, nah, we saw y'all niggas steal those bikes. Next thing you know, we just ignored them niggas. We so we just went ahead and just bicycled away. Dude, I kid you not. Once I heard that truck go like, nigga, I was scared as fuck, bro. I told my, my homeboy, I said, hey, bro, let's go ahead and cut right through these apartments and make our way back to the house. My other homeboy, he was like, nah, bro, fuck that. They gonna see me. They gonna have to see me. I'm like, nigga, bro, what if they pull out a gun and shoot your ass? So anyway, I'm like, fuck it, bro. You have it. Me and homeboy, we went in here, drove right through the apartments. Eventually, old dude, he, he came back around. I was like, like, bro, they didn't get you. Nah, bro, I think that I lost him or something. And I was like, I bet, bet, bet. So, nigga, right when we was about to follow, not follow, right when we was about to go back to, like, our house and whatnot, next thing you know, vroom, nigga, speed right on, like, right in front of us. Like, the nigga tried to hit us or some shit. I mean, he wouldn't be able to hit us because it was like a pole right there, but that nigga was speeding. But right before he got to that pole, I mean, not, not right before, but right after. <laughs> Nigga, back before, right back, bro. And he was like, y'all thought y'all was going to go somewhere. We going to go back to the cops. I'm like, hey, fuck it, bro. You could go back to the cops or whatnot. I don't really care. This is my bike. And then shit was just, shit was crazy. I tell you, bro, like, if you from down south, you know that them white people are racist. Everywhere racist if you think about it. Everywhere is racist if you think about it, bro, but them niggas crazy. All right, so you know how Taco Bell already got a crate. Like, it, that shit already got a lot of crazy customers, right? Anyway, it was me and my homeboy. My home, homeboy, he was working at cashier. I was just putting the damn tacos in, in, in the back. Everybody else, I think, everybody else was like white, you know what I mean? Next thing you know, a whole damn family of damn Patels, bro. And no offense to anybody that are Indians anything like that like no, no offense i fuck with y'all but these niggas came up to me and talking about some i don't want a binge i want a binge there's no binge on here and you know I, I i thought he was talking about you know yelling at the cooks and shit and so 
And so my homeboy said, hey, yo, go ahead and check, check the food for them. So I'm like, all right, what the fuck? Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and check up, out, out the food. And I looked at it, I was like, damn, bro, one, one of the cooks on fucked it up for you. I, I ain't actually say that. But, you know, that's what I basically said in my head. So then the nigga gonna go and look at me and be like, you listen to me. You listen to me. You put beans in here. You put no beans in here. And I, I'm, I'm standing there like, like, what the fuck, bro? I ain't do shit. I'm looking at my homeboy why, why they just, you know, saying, yelling that shit at me. I'm like, what the fuck I do? I ain't even doing nothing, bro. These niggas yelling at me, bro. I tell you, bro, them, them Indian, bro, them Patel niggas, bro. Them Patel nigga, bro. They are racist. Listen, bro. As, as, as much as people, motherfuckers, niggas think that Hispanics like, like black people or love black people. Wrong, my nigga. Wrong. I... I firsthandly witnessed that shit dating a, a Hispanic. And what's so crazy on my nigga? I'm mixed with that shit, but they don't fucking know. But anyway, it's like, bro, they don't, they don't, nah, they don't fuck with that. If they daughter's dating a black dude, he's a hoodlum. That nigga is bad influence. He don't know what he doing. He, he crazy, hoodlum, sports boy. You know what I'm saying? The first thing that they gonna ask, what color is he? Black. Not not all of them like that though, but nigga, them Hispanic parents are racist as hell, bro. No, no, damn well they ass mixed with that shit too. But you know what I'm saying? You can't you can't really tell them niggas that. Trust me, I know. I got some family men that be like, me no black, nigga. I'm your cousin. <laughs> Literally, like, me me no black. No no no, papi. No no no, papi. Me no black. Me Dominican. Me no black, no, 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 nigga, I'm your cousin, we are blood, yeah. what you mean? But anyway, y'all, man, I hope y'all enjoyed that video, bro. This is another Cozy Joe reaction, now don't take me as a reaction channel, I'm just a YouTuber, I'm a YouTube channel, I record what I want, and whatever you guys want as well, too. But anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed that video, man, make sure y'all like and subscribe, bro, it's real chill, real cool, hopefully it's funny, maybe, I don't know. I don't know y'all humor like that. Y'all y'all niggas don't communicate to me, man. But anyway, man. Hope y'all say blessed, productive, active. Stay safe out there, man. Cozy Joe is out. Love, peace, and chicken grease.